Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your client bookings directly within system IO using the calendar feature. This is perfect for you. If you're a coach consultant or service provider, let's get started. Before we create any booking events, let's look at the integrations related to this feature from the main dashboard, hover over your profile picture and click settings. Then scroll down and click on integrations. You'll first see the Google Calendar integration, which is useful if you're using it to schedule your events. Click on Google Calendar, then connect. Next, sign in to your Google account. Be sure to check the Select All box to Grant System IO all the necessary permissions. Once connected, you can set a default calendar for new bookings and make sure to enable the Check for Conflicts option to prevent double bookings. Now, because the Google Meet integration is directly linked to your Google account, it'll be automatically connected as well. This allows a meeting link to be automatically generated and added to the calendar invitation when you select it as a location for your event. Finally, you can also integrate Zoom. Simply click on Zoom, then connect, and authorize the connection by logging into your Zoom account. This will allow you to select Zoom as a meeting location, and just like with Google Meet, a unique meeting link will be automatically generated for your bookings. Now that our integrations are set up, let's create an event that clients can book. From your main dashboard, navigate to the CRM tab and click on Calendar. This is your scheduling hub. You'll see three main tabs, Events, Bookings, and Availability. Let's start with the Events tab and click Create New Event. You'll first be asked to choose an event type, an individual event, which is perfect for one-on-one -on -one coaching or consultations, or a group event, which is ideal for live webinars or group workshops. Let's go with individual event. This takes us to the event settings page. Here you'll configure the event name, host name, event duration, and the host photo. Next, you'll set the location. You can choose online meeting, where you can choose Zoom, Google Meet, or add an external link. You can also choose phone or personal for in-person meetings and provide the relevant details. You can even offer multiple location options for a single event, allowing invitees to choose their preferred method. Below that, you can add a description to your event if you like. Now, let's set your availability for this specific event. You can set a date range for when this event is bookable. Then, you can set the minimum notice period to help you get prepared before a meeting. For example, your clients can only book an event two hours beforehand. Next, define your available hours for each day of the week. You can also set date-specific availability to override your weekly schedule for a particular day. Otherwise, you can just use the global availability settings set in the availability tab that we saw earlier. Finally, in the advanced settings, you can customize the start time increment to show available slots every 30 minutes, a daily limit on bookings, and buffer time before or after each appointment to avoid back-to-back -back meetings. Once your event is created and saved, it's time to let your clients book it. There are two ways to do that, free or paid. To offer free bookings, open the editor of the page where you want to add the calendar. Inside the editor on the left panel, find the calendar element and drag it onto your page. When you click on the element, its settings will appear on the left. Here, you must select the specific event you want to display. If you have only one event, it will be selected by default. The calendar element has three steps for your user. In step one, the booking interface, they will see your availability and select a date and time. In step two, the submission form, they will enter their details to finalize the booking. You can customize the headlines and button text for both of these steps in the element settings. In step three, they'll see the meeting details after they finish booking. Once you're done, remember to save your changes. To offer paid calendar bookings, you need to set it up using an order form. Just like we saw in previous videos, create a digital product, choose calendar events in resources, and select your event. After setting up the price plan, click Save and open the editor of the order form. Inside the editor, drag and drop the paid calendar element and click on it to see the settings in case you want to customize it. Once you're done, save and exit the page. After a client schedules an appointment, both you and the guest will receive a confirmation email. To manage your appointments, go back to the calendar section and click on the bookings tab. This tab gives you a complete list of all your upcoming and past appointments. From here, you can view the booking details, cancel it, or reschedule to a new date and time. Any changes you make here will automatically trigger a notification email to both you and your client. 
and the event will be updated on your integrated Google Calendar. And there you have it. You now know how to create a complete automated booking system and manage your entire client scheduling process with System.io. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.